landscape here is like a giant sponge. All this organic matter below us, peat is forming over hundreds and thousands of years. It's got untold conservation significance, but also this holds water and slowly releases it downstream. This is an incredibly rare ecosystem. The swamp above this uh, little cascade waterfall is slowly releasing it through its peat layers. That's the function of the peat and lets it out slowly down the creek, having already filtered it. So the level of salt here is uh, 36 micro siemens. By comparison, Sydney drinking water is about 250. So this meter is putting a very slight electrical current through the water. Pure water does not conduct electricity. Salt water is really quite a good conductor. So the better the electrical conductivity, the more salt in. This doesn't have much salt. This is amongst the purest water you can get in the Sydney Basin. In front of us here, we're looking at the very sad death of a swamp. I'm standing quite a long way down below the layer of peat that would have been above me. So this has been developing the peat that the plants grow in in the swamp here for thousands of years. And because of road runoff, water quality and the physical force of water coming off roadworks has basically been eroding this down. Soil disturbance and the addition of uh, nutrients from the nearby urban areas has resulted in an issue here of not just simply the collapse of the uh, channel and the side parts of this swamp, but the exposed soil is a ripe place for weeds to grow. So compared to a clean swamp, this is at uh, 98 micro siemens. The previous clean swamp we looked at at Grand Canyon was 32, 33. So this has three times the level of dissolved salts and minerals. One of our theories is that the weeds you see growing here um, are invading this because it's a higher pH. The water in front of you is actually heavily contaminated.